Hi, good morning. I am Father Nathaniel S. Ibanez OSB, a monk from St. Benedict's Monastery at Pico City. I was born in December 13, 1973 in Maragusan, Davao de Oro. My parents are Mr. Benigno Ibanez Sr. and Gaudencia Salibay. Si Papa was more than 30 years as a lay minister or kaabag in our parish. Akong inahan, very active as a lector, as a member of the Sagrado Corazon de Jesus and other church organizations. I was also very active as a choir member, playing musical instruments, so in every Sunday Mass. Since elementary until I graduated in high school, I have three, three brothers and four sisters. We are all eight in the family. Looking back, I look at myself when I was a child as a very, very shy, shy child and then very introvert. But later, or these days, nagkaton ako mga reach out sa uban and then especially no, kay ordained minister na ko sa simbahan, I have learned to deal with people. Hindi na maulaw, hindi extrovert, pero kabalo lang mapahinuna sa kaugalingon, kauban sa kadaghanan sa palipot. Looking back, ako na pamalandungan nga, katong mga panahon nga, shy, shy kayo ko, maulawon kayo ko, nakita na ko nga, since that time, na ako'y longing o kanang pangandoy sa kahiladman na gusto na ako makabot. Kanang matinawon ko o kanang mapahilunaon ang kinabuhi. Brother Daniel Ibanez, here I am. My search for peace and quiet brought me to entering a seminary right after high school. Dito, I spent four years in aspirancy, postulancy, and officiate. But then, along the way, something changed. Rab, nakita na ko sarili nga. Ang quiet, ang peace, na akong ginapangita. Wala na akong makaplagan dito. Dili na akong makaplagan dito. Ito nga, miingon ko, this is not my life. Gawas ko. So I decided to go out and then I tried to search for peace and quiet in the world. Dito, ni eskwela ko computer science and then after graduation, ng trabaho, earning money, I built relationships and then after some time, ikos mo sarili nga, no, this is not. I, I, nangita dyan ko, nangita pa dyan ko kahilong o kalinaw. Mawa nga, ming balik ko o seminary. Another complication, another religious complication, very active. And then there, I spent two years of my life reflecting and then trying to find it out kung naabagay din ito ang kalinaw o ang kahilong ang ipangita. And then, after two years, I told myself, now I know, kung asa ginabot ko siya dapat makita. So, after atong seminary, after atong mga congregation, may balihin ko, for the third time, may sulod ko o another religious congregation, but this time, it is monastic congregation. So, monastery. In 2005, up to present, na ako karon sa monastery. And I am very grateful. I am more satisfied, content na naan ako din eh. Ang kalinaw, kahilom ng ipangita, nakaplaga na ako sa monastery. Dahil nang muta naman ng monastery man. Namingaw ang kaayo. Murag, wala'y kinabuhi sa sugod. Dahil sa pasugod na ako sa second congregation sa exposure na ako sa mission, sa rigid ng pagpahigayon sa mission, nagdala ka na ako diyan sa mas klaro, mas tinaw na pamaagi, aron matukkan, makabot na ako ang akong ipangandoy ng kahilong 
o kalinaw diha sa among kinahay kalinatan. Mao nga pagsunod nako sa monastery 2005, miingon usong ko ganingon, this is it. Life in the monastery is a mixture of contemplative and active style. This is our schedule of the day. At 4.40 in the morning is our rising and then 20 minute preparation for our 5 o'clock morning prayer or dots. And then Muhammad Asya at 5.30, then 5.30 to 6.00. Silence, personal preparations for the celebration of the Holy Mass or the Eucharist at 6 o'clock in the morning. And then after the 6 o'clock na Holy Eucharist celebration, musulod ang breakfast. And then, mahuman siya around 7.30. And then we prepare ourselves for our work, our individual assignments at 8 o'clock in the morning. So from 8 o'clock in the morning up to 11 o'clock ang amuang trabaho, kung asa na-assign, asa ang imuang responsibility dito ka magtrabaho. And then for others, mga pari, especially kung naimisa sa gawas, na request for masses, for example, weddings or funeral masses or also blessings, house blessings and so on and so forth. Uh, in those times, ang mga pagahimuon, and then at 11.30 sa uto, ang amuang midday prayer. After the midday prayer follows lunch. And then at 1 o'clock, no, 1 o'clock after lunch, up to 1.30, personal time, siesta time. At 1.30, we wake up or, and then we proceed again to our tasks or work until... 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And then, at 5 o'clock, balik sa monasteryo, andam sa kaugalingon, for 5.30, na gitawag og leksyon divina. At 5.30, up to 6 o'clock. At 6 o'clock in the evening, ang, ang, ang vespers, or evening prayer. And then, after evening prayer, which is around 30 minutes, musunod ang dinner up to 7 o'clock and then at 7 o'clock to 7.30 before the pandemic we had our leisure time Ragula, Lingaw Lingaw pero during the pandemic we do uh, devotions like rosary or kaning expositions about sacraments para maghalat ang mga puyo pa pangamuyo alang sa kahintang sa naso sa tipulibutan diyan sa pagkaasdan sa COVID and then at 7.30, ang among last prayer of the day, kanang itawag ko complain, which is around 15 minutes. And after that, personal time na, bedtime na, depende sa imuhan, until morning na po, 4.40. So this is our life. This is how we live our life as monks. And this is how we find our peace and quiet in the monastery. Some would say, or even many would say, that life in the monastery is monotonous, boring. Imagine every day, from 4.40 in the morning up to around 8 o'clock in the evening, balik, 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 every day. So, naiban, ingon, monotonous, boring. Munang adaghan kayo ang matin pag sulod, pero gamay na kayo mula mutay. I remember when I entered the monastery, I was the 29th. 29th, imagine. Dagahan me sa mong batch, around five of us, pero ng gawas, ako na rin sa nabili. And then, dagahan pang mga batch na sinagsunod sa ako ah, sa ako ang batch, pero wala rin ako tayo. Gamay lang yun ang nagpadayo. So, monotonous, boring, that's what others would say. Pero 
on our part, for those who survive, for those who persevered, we find peace, we find quiet, we find joy. In so many ways, in so many ways. Kana monotony sa kinabuhi, boredom, normal na naksya, bisag asa, maka-experience mang yutaan ng kamingaw, kalaay, bisan asa ka na kinabuhi mong ipili, na agin ang kalaay, na agin ang kanang monotonous na panglantaw sa kinabuhi. Badri sa monasteri, malingaw rapod me. Ako personally, malingaw rapod ko, una, diha sa ministriya. Diha sa pag-reach out na ito sa mga nanginahanglan sa palibot spiritually. Kay daghan kayong tao sa palibot na gigutom diha sa ilang espirituhan ng kinabuhi. And on my part, I find joy in reaching out to them. Celebrating the Holy Mass, very, very inspiring. I can celebrate Mass two times, three times, four times in a day. Walay problema, walay kahago, walay kakapoy. It's strength with the name. And then, hindi na po ka na ng pag-atiman po sa mga tanong sa palibot, mga kinaiyahan, o Labi na on my part kanan pagatiman sa mga hayop. I have dogs. I was I'm so very very grateful to 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 the ones who gave them to me, mga benefactors. Una may yun sila natinuod yun stress relieving ang mga hayop, especially kani mga dogs. Kanang kapawala sa kalaay ko, kapawala ko sa kakapoy sa ginabuhi. Daghan gyud kaayo ang pamaagi nga Malabanan ni mo ang monotony sa kinabuhi, ang boredom sa kinabuhi. Just find joy in the things that you do. And then find joy in sharing yourself because that will bring you to a deeper peace, a deeper quiet diha sa inyo. once asked, Father, kung sa ginature sa tao, masaya ha nga, what do you think? Sige nga niyo, Lord Father, pag panganak na ito sa kalibutan, napansin na ito mga bata, pagkatun nila o kamang o liho, whatever it is na ilang magunitan, ilang ihungit silang baba, kining action, pagkita ba nga, already at the very beginning of our existence, ang ito ang direksyon sa ito ang liho, para sa kaugalingon, para sa ako. Una, makasulti ko, Father, ako ang nature of youth is selfish. Man, by nature, is selfish. Hindi ko sa iya hanga, well, napot kay punto, pero let's go back to that time when God created man. Sa book of Genesis, makita na ito, no nga, God created man in His image and likeness. And in philosophy, we say God is the summum bonum, or the most good. And therefore, if God created us in His image and likeness, by nature, we are like Him, selfless, dili selfish. Pero unsa nahi tabo ng ano na selfish banta? Tungod kay when Adam and Eve went against the will of God, that selfless nature of ours was distorted. Maunga na himo siyang selfish. Well, it's very challenging for us Christians to cross the bridge from selfishness to selflessness to repair our distorted nature. E nga naman, mas kusog na sa ito ang pagkamakaugalingon. Muna nga, as I reflect on my life each day, at the end of the day, ang makahatad yun sa kuwag ka ng smile or kanang mahatag na makatang kalipay kada bitaw ko mapamalandungan ng balik nang tawo ako kung adlaw gikan pag mata sa buntag ang tud anang urasa matulog na ko at the end of the day maka smile ko every time makita na ako realize na ko nga wow nahimo kong selfless sa akong pagkinabuhi and how i wish mo grow ko diha sa selflessness 
mas makontrol na ako ang akong selfishness or makatabok yun ko ikan sa selfishness at to sa selflessness. How I wish and how I pray. If I were to die tomorrow, the question is, will I be content with the life I live today? Hmm. I would say yes. Because uh, for me, at the end of the day, it's not how long we have lived in life, or it's not the lifestyle we are uh, trying to live each day but it is how much we are trying to be selfless in our day-to-day -day living. Kaya nga ito ang pag personal ang pagpaningkamot nga hindi magkinabuhi para sa ako, kundi magkinabuhi para sa uban. Because after all, we are created to be men and women for others. I never thought na katong ginapangita na ako nga kalinaw o kahido makitaan o mas natin na ako din sa monastery. To those of you who are looking for something to quench that thirst deep within you, I invite you to come visit and experience a first end of our life in the monastery have a first-hand experience of this life and see for yourself this might be also the place where you will be content and truly happy truly joyful truly peaceful again this is father nathaniel s ibanez osb seek god always in all ways amping ambo sa kanunay god bless